Hello, DF Crew. It's fair to say that many UE5 PC games have had issues over the past few years. If you're a developer aiming for a realistic visual design, is there a more performant game engine available for licensing? Is CryEngine a realistic alternative? Alex, what are your thoughts on UE5.5 and above going forward? Alex, what are your thoughts? That's funny. I don't think there's almost any competitive engine in this space at all that is uh easily licensable at all like yes really there there's a reason why they have so much money they just have this fortnite money and they buy all the mm. graphics engineers and uh, systems engineers and they build this engine um which is kind of a behemoth in a lot of ways and in the both good and bad um so i don't think cryengine is a realistic alternative anymore i other than the legacy fact that uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 came out on that engine, I think that is a legacy factoid. I don't think that is because, you know, if they had enough money, maybe and enough time, they might have switched to get a better feature set and all these things. Who knows, right? Um, but that's just kind of the way it was. I don't think it needed to be that way. Uh, I think five, not even five, five, I think five, seven and above is probably where we're going to see a lot better situation regarding all the issues we've talked about over the years. Um, I don't know what they'll do about image quality for 60 FPS games on console. That's been another, like we always talk about like stutter struggle, et cetera, because we have a sign of PC focus regarding the Unreal Engine issues. But a lot of things that people complain about on consoles is that Unreal Engine 5 games have bad image quality. I don't know if that's going to be changing over time very greatly, but I think all the CPU related issues are going to get a lot, lot better uh, over time. Um, the, the, it's, it is just a shame that the engine became licensable in a state like you could download the 5.0 feature set to make games on for current gen consoles at a time when it was maybe not really good performance wise to make uh, really great experiences across all different game design types. Like, I don't think it was a, a, an, un, uh, an open world engine until like 5.4 ish. You know, like, because just the, the very basic nature of moving across an open world pre that was just awful, uh, regardless of hardware. Um, so I feel like it's a shame that it was licensable at the time it was um, and everyone grabbed onto it. But, you know, I think it's going to be a lot better after CDPR gets their hands on it and pushes back a lot of things into main branch, which they've been doing. Mm hmm. So that's what, where I feel. What about this, Alex? Basically, any engine that can do overcast clouds and screen space reflections <laughs> and shiny, shiny floors will, will deliver you that ultra realistic visual design. <laughs> you know what? That's that's true. You know what? In that case, tons of engines do that. Junkiest engines do that. So let's do it. <laughs> uh, any thoughts on this, John? It's all about Godot, baby. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean. I think Godot is cool, but like uh, I just don't think if you're no, going I know. for like a ultra realistic <sighs> modern AAA game, I don't know if it has that no, support. One hundred percent right out. Like I just don't see any other solution than Unreal Engine at this point. It is what it is. Like right, Epic has vacuumed up the tech industry, so like you either have engineers that want to work on their own proprietary tech, and so they go to the right. companies where that's allowed, or you join Epic. Right. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. Unity's still out there doing its thing, but it has not really been that successful competing in that area. The one area where Unity is actually really good, though, is uh, mobile VR. Like, right. the mm -hmm. Unity Engine is awesome for games that run on, say, like the Quest series of headsets. Uh, I think it's much more performant than Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine works on there, but it's got... Uh, it usually has image quality issues. Shader compilation is super long, which, by the way, compositing shaders in a VR headset sucks. Oh, because, my gosh. Right? Because nobody wants to sit there uncomfortably staring at a bar with a headset on for, like, 10 minutes. Uh, it's not cool. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> but Unity games never seem to have that issue. Uh, they're very, very quick in comparison. and They run great and with good image quality. And... Um, so, but right. on, if you're if you're targeting consoles and PC, I feel like UE5 is kind of just you just kind of have to do it. And if if you know what you're doing, the results can be pretty freaking great. 
like Unreal Engine can produce awesome visuals. That's not in question. It's just about getting it to run well. And okay. that, you know, that's difficult. 